Hi guys, welcome to my next campaign. Um, right, let's just change this. Now, last time I was trying to do the Epirus Legendary This Is Total War achievement. I definitely bit off more than I can chew there. But it was a nice uh, nice challenge, I guess. Um, so I'm going to try something a bit more feasible, but hopefully still quite challenging. I'm going to do a Legendary Carthage campaign. Um, bar Kids, it, it's kind of like... I'd want to be able to do battle kids, but I hate this uh, diplomatic penalty. Like, good luck playing on Legendary with that diplomatic penalty, because yeah, you'll truly get hit from all sides. Um, I like going with the Hanoid, because uh, you get a minor diplomatic buff. Um, that's not really a big deal. And a bit more movement range. I mean, when you're playing such a sort of uh, large, sprawling kind of empire, you know, movement speed, that's no bad thing. It's not amazing, but it's better than uh, everyone hating your guts, which they, they kind of will anyway, I guess, but uh, it's damage control, really. Uh, I think the key of Carthage is really to sort of focus on one thing. Um, so the last time I played, I basically just made a beeline straight for Rome. I sort of took Sicily. Um, I abandoned Spain and everything to the west of Carthage and I sort of just tried to barrel down and take out Rome as quickly as possible. Um, I haven't quite decided what I'm going to do yet, whether I'm going to try and appease the Romans or whether I'm going to try and murder stomp them. I'll have a thing, I'll have a look about in the game, see how things are. So I haven't played Carthage since the Emperor Edition. In fact, uh, the only legendary campaign that I've tried to play in the Emperor Edition is that uh, that Epirus one. So, to be honest, anything after that will be a. Uh, <laughs> it's going to be a bit more relaxing, I suppose. The uh, issue I had there was the sort of endless, endlessly huge armies hitting me from every side, and yeah, that wasn't great. I don't think I was really going to make much headway there. I could probably defeat. Two, maybe three, four stacks, and then, uh, then I'll just get counterattacked by another four stack from somewhere else. That would probably be uh, GG. So, I actually got a new graphics card since the last time I streamed. So uh, I muddled about with the settings once more. So hopefully it should be a bit smoother now, a bit prettier. We shall uh, see how it copes. Let's see here. Da -de -da -de -de. Your possession. Yep, fantastic. So first up, all right, diplomacy. Those nice things first. Kids, mm, these guys are kind of cool to me. Friend. Let's get that going. Trade agreement. Ah, screw you. Croatia. Uh, I don't want to get too chummy with them because then that piss off Egypt um, and they're going to be an issue anyway. Epirus, I'll decide what to do with you soon. Same with the Etruscan League. Libya, come on, we need to get trading. Already trading with Nova Carthagio. Um, okay, is there nothing else I can really get? Yeah, so I don't really want to antagonise uh, Egypt just yet. Let's have a think here. So, got these decent mercenaries here. Well, kind of decent. I mean, I think the plan is either to abandon Sicily and sort of try and take on, sort of uh, consolidate Africa and then go on to Spain or abandon Spain and go into Italy and then come back. Hmm. So uh, since last time I tried sort of just steamrolling the Romans as quickly as possible. I might try to get a bit chummy with them. Um let's see how it goes. This fleet. Hmm. It's fine. Right. So there's no force here, let's grab my spy. Of course, the best way of making friends in Rome is to declare war on guys that the 
guys you're trying to make friends with hates. You know. The uh, enemy of my enemy and all that. So yep. Yeah, eventually I'll, I'll try not to get chummy with Epirus, um and if a war breaks out then that gives me an option of just uh stabbing them in the well, stabbing them in the front, not really the back. There's no pretense here. Etruscan League though. Welcome! We will talk and then we will feast until Let's our guts rumble and our backs. Let's see how that does us. Oh, it shall be! We are honest folk and prefer the sharp sword to the to lying tongue. <laughs> Welcome! Still but expect scant pleasantries. Romans lack time to waste. Um, can't really afford to give them a gift just yet. Animal here, but honestly, we probably want to go uh, take Alalia um, and leave that there. So let's yeah. keep doing that since uh, recently. I don't know why. Let's get rid of you. Um, should really expand Carlhood, I guess. Who will be decent? What's our uh, influence? Like 21%, so we could do with this being our general. Okay, so, yep, that seems fine. Raise army. Elephants. Is it? Oops. That is not what I wanted. Get in there. Fantastic. Mercenaries are oh, quite good, quite a good selection. There's all the the mercenary pool we get for Carthage is pretty awesome. So yeah, yeah. minus fifteen percent mercenary upkeep. Let's shoot for that. Get that added onto our twenty five percent bonus. Quite nice. Um, ah, do we want to bother getting a few more ships? I think that navy's fine as is. Get him on the way. I'm going to sort of sacrifice uh, Sicily. I don't really give a damn what happens to it. Not to burst. Okay, well, let's build a muster field. A stronger garrison. Get rid of these guys. Get a bit more money flowing in. Again, turned into a navy, and I did not want that. Public order's not bad. Fantastic. We'll probably do with a temple, get some Carthaginian culture on the go. We haven't got enough money for a new building. Researching. Yep, okay. Aha. Uh -huh. That's what it was. Um, I guess Carthage. That kind of makes sense. Let's see how this goes. not tried uh, becoming friends with the Romans before. Well, temporary friends anyway. But we'll see how that goes. They might just sort of screw over the whole thing and declare war with me in the next turn and then it'll be a quick change of plan. But we'll go with this. See what sort of uh, mileage we can get out of it. Yep, sorry Hannibal. I'm in the wrong place. Actually, I should probably expand that so it turns into a slum, so it rebels, and I don't get dragged into a war. Although the food cost of having the slums will be pretty sucky. Uh, let's just check the garrison here. So, yeah, nothing too impressive. There we go. Gotta get on the way now. Spy, not gonna be the most useful actually. Let's see, I guess afterwards I'm really gonna be trying to consolidate North Africa. Oh, nothing's really kicked off just yet, but no, let's go and bring him back here. Right, and then comes it here. A bit more 
public order on the go. It's winter, so things are not nice for me. Okay, nothing too bad. Yep. So next turn. I don't think there's any. No, I haven't got the tech for champions yet. Right, so hopefully uh, screwing over the Etruscan League will be chummy chummy. What I'm going to be trying to do is get mercenary costs as low as possible, because I really like the idea of playing it somewhat historically and uh, trying to sort of get a lot of mercenaries on the go. food, let's upgrade that. Right, you just wait there one sec. Oops. Okay, still works. Um, I can't really ought to resolve this despite it being heavily in my favour because this elephant general I mean as I'm sure you're probably all aware when you try to auto resolve with elephants or to a lesser extent cavalry they get disproportionately smashed um, and it's just no fun waiting around for that replenishment especially since replenishment rates have been nerfed since the Emperor edition so might as well um, do this one myself to show you what it's like with a new graphics card. I don't know if you'll notice a difference, but I certainly have. It's um, in terms of FPS, anyway, it's been a lot smoother. Right. I do wish that Carpus had a slightly more, um, <coughs> excuse me, a slightly more dynamic. I guess that's the word. A more dynamic uh, sort of roster. So I think that's the one thing that sort of holds them back, because obviously I think you're supposed to uh, compensate for that with mercenaries. But I don't really feel like the uh, the sort of reduction costs they get on mercenaries is actually enough to make it possible. Right, there you go. I did try a mod at one point that actually increased that, but. I would have done that, but I don't know, it feels a bit, uh, hmm, not cheaty, but a bit like, oh, okay, he's doing a legendary carpet campaign, that's kind of cool. All oh, right, no, he's he's got all this, uh, this sort of mod that's essentially making it a lot easier for him to get troops. Uh, so, actually... I'm just going to see if this is one of those beaches where... No. Sometimes you have a situation where you click here and you see, oh, there's only three slots for my ships. And you'll click, slightly other two ships, and as long as you send them separately, then you can sometimes get two extra ships here. Um, like certain maps have like weird areas like that, but it's a little bit buggy to be honest, but So yep, we can see I've actually got reflections back on the sea now. So it looks like pretty to me anyway. One thing I really do love in uh, graphically of Rome is the sea and water. I think they've done a really good job. Oh, yeah, that guy sort of flickering in and out of existence. Just not sure if he wants to be here or not. But it's okay, it's okay guy, we're gonna win. It's gonna be fine. Right. What have we got in opposition here? I'm 
Should land the jabs. I think the recolors they did in Emperor Edition are really actually kind of cool. The only issue I've really got with them is um, some factions look a bit too samey now. So there's a sort of pastely blue color that they've used for the uh, faction badge for both Athens and for uh, Egypt. And they look a bit samey. And one of the Iberian factions as well, I think, sort of shares that. So there's that. They're the, one of the few things early on that can really screw up uh, elephants. It has been. That's why I find it's quite nice when you get these early armies that you're trying to sort of stomp with elephants. I think you get at least one unit of cav. And then what you can do is when you flank round and you go to hit the missile units, the sort of squishy units. Um, um, you can obviously send the cav forwards and it's fast enough to sort of drive back the missile troops so your general is not sort of face tanking a load of uh, missiles which of course elephants do not like really need to get these guys routed um, let's turn off formation attack and see if I can squeeze you behind now I can rear charge because then I can't really get my javelins into effect this. Okay, so here. What have we got here? Cav. Eh, not fantastic. Okay, here we go. That looks decent. Come on. You know you just want to go home. Just route and go home. Well, this is your home, so. Never mind. So, skirmishers, nothing with long. Ah, oh, slingers there. Okay, just going to stop my general until I've got some uh, distractions coming in here. I don't really care if these guys get exhausted. All they've got to do is just hold the enemy in place for a little bit. Wow, this one unit of Italian spearmen's really thrown my uh, Libyan hoplites for a nice spin. Yeah, man. So everything that's left here is pretty much missile troops. So I'll tell you what, I'm just going to run through. That is routed anyway. into a melee. Right, so there shouldn't be any more missile troops firing. I just need to stay on top of these skirmishers. versus light hoplites. Not very fair. I lose interest in fair. Right, so I think it's just these units now. So 
So I really need to get a point in cunning once this guy levels up. So if I use stampede, I can uh, give him second wind. Sounds a bit wrong when I say it like that, but you know what I mean. I think elephants really aren't quite as good as they used to be. Chariots, however, yes. My personal favourite, though, out of uh, the sort of shock cavalry kind of thing, when you talk about like elephants and chariots, is I really like um, cataphracts. I mean, they neither will have the sort of raw killing potential that chariots and elephants have, but goddamn, are they awesome! Like being able to sort of uh, frontally charge like medium infantry that isn't braced and just sort of smash through them. That's just never going to get boring. And when you get a sort of rear charge or a stampede on, or stampede, trample, then uh, that's really great. So that's pretty much as we expected. Um, once I get some public order going, I'll probably disband this army. Yeah, I'll, I'll keep him here as a sort of garrison for now, I guess. And then I'll sort of figure out where we're going next. Because we're the thing with Africa is, uh, I kind of like letting my uh, my poor little client state get beat up. And then what it means is you can uh, sort of take over the territory they used to own. It should be mine. Okay, so let's get some cunning. So, skill tactician, that's always good. Uh, night fighter, why the hell not? Okay, acid tongue wire. Hmm, might need to sort that out. Garrison unit? I don't think I'm gonna. Yeah, okay, I've got enough money to try and convert that. What does Rome think of me now? Still hates my guts, slightly less. Cultural affinity, well, I guess that's the uh, the ability of the Hanoids. Um, I have a little bit of speech. It's not even worth giving them that. In terms of here, though, hmm. I'm tempted to just uh, try and conquer these guys, turn them into a client state. Libya, how's Libya's relations? I think about backstabbing. I think I should backstab Libya. No, I'll tell you what. We're gonna head on over to Greetings Spain. Friend. See what we can do. So I don't have any money left to raise additional troops there. This is a decent sized garrison. I might get rid of this fleet. Um, it's not really gonna be doing anything too particularly useful. And it's take, gonna take up a lot of money. Right, should get some slums. Just double check on agents. All oh, right, okay, my Imperium's high enough to have two spies. Oh, and uh, yeah, I can get champions now. So I'll probably get a champion here next turn to get some public order on the go. Um, could probably do with a champion over here as well. Reacquaint myself. Lydian Peltasts, always pretty good. I think it's level three of the uh, the other barracks, though you can get Libyan infantry, and that's something that I probably really do want. Okay. Uh, nothing. Great. <laughs> Oops. So at level three. Let's just double check. No, oh, is it not? It was uh, level 4. I don't know if it's because it's the units are behind the uh, reform or not. Oh no, I must have just. See, I always thought that unlocked uh, Libyan infantry there. That's a bit strange. Carthaginian hot plates are pretty damn good though, so I'll probably be using those instead. Uh, let's see, 2700. So that might be enough to get.
get my two champions. I forget how much they are. It's between 1100 and 1400. So as long as it's less than uh, 14, we should be okay. Hopefully my sound is loud enough now. Let me know if you're still having trouble sort of hearing me. Um, I've pumped up the uh, the mic to the max volume, and I've tried to turn down the game sounds as much as I can while still keeping them audible. There we go. There's our slums. Public order kind of turning itself around here. Um, let's see. I want someone. Oh, I'll probably put that guy in Spain because I make him part of the uh, making part of the army. See, those are some fantastic bonuses to be having. Um, infantry trainer, yeah, it's fine, but bread and games. Okay, why not? Let's see, uh, I was going to cancel bread and games here and then pull it back on over here at Corsica and Sardinia. But if I do that, then this uh, this. Minus six food I'm getting here is going to screw me over really bad. So, keep these units for now because they're giving an ever so slight amount of public order. Same as doing here, not too terribly bad. There's our guy. I don't know if it's worth recruiting into him yet, probably worth saving my money. Let's just check diplomacy again. We have need of talk. We have need of a trade agreement, but you know, you don't see me complaining. Nope, still don't want to be chummy with you. Try and hold Rome at bay for a while. All Rome looks <laughs> Okay, flying down the toilet. But at least it got us uh, Corsica and Sidonia, which is a decent little base to be having. It's such a shame I recruited that uh, champion over there, over in Spain. But we still be given public order, which is much needed in the early game. Mm-hmm. So, should I get about reversing this? I don't know. I don't know if I'm really that fussed about trying to keep this. Um, let rebel, let it be a little fawn in the side here, and I, I can probably just focus on invading directly from here to here. Yeah, that works, whatever. So, I think I recruit him down here for some odd reason. Still getting close to a rebellion there. And here. I think it's mostly going to be cultural differences that's causing this. Yeah. So, what gives me the most Punic conversion? This. Let's do that. Uh, Carthage, you're stabilizing. That's great. Well, I probably need to get a theatre or amphitheatre in this case. It's a shame I don't have any uh, barracks over here. Should have done that here. Yeah. How much is it to convert? 700, but it's not exactly a big deal. I should get a slightly bigger garrison and I can get uh, ships. Okay, this spy who's actually the most world travelled spy in all of the Empire is going to come back for a little holiday back to Italy. Um, let's see, okay. Now this means I could get chummy with Epirus, I guess, but Epirus is kind of like, uh, they're a bit doomed. Usually what happens is they get sort of taken by Sparta or Athens and, uh, if I sort of get chummy with them and then Sparta and Athens are there, then it's entirely possible that. Oh, 
<laughs> thanks, thanks, Syracuse, for putting down that rebellion. Fantastic. Um, am I that bothered? Yeah, go on then. I guess they are giving me money. Because eventually I want to take over uh, all of Libya's lands. The lands of Libya. I'm just really hoping the rebellion starts up here. <laughs> that would be great. Scrap. Today is the day for changing the plans. To public order. Yeah, I guess. It's a lot of money at this point now. Again, I'll probably just get yeah some cheap ass troops and then maybe blend in a few sort of mercenaries. Um, when these guys are available, they're pretty incredible. But I mean, they cost nearly the same as like mercenary elephants or something. It's like five hundred mercenary balerics. Good. I really don't like Italian swordsmen. Uh, they're okay. Strictly okay. Ah, uh, at least Squitari. Hmm, they're fine. How much do they cost in comparison? A bit more. 15, 29. Hmm, I do like the attack on these guys better. Noble horse. Noble horse, noble fighters. Um, yeah, pretty cool. These guys cost seventy. Let's get a few more of these to sort of fill out our, uh, our roster. Not really bothered about converting that yet. Get a bit more public order going here. You have the ear of my people. Do not waste words. Come on, it's four hundred. Four hundred gold. Come on. How can that not tempt you? Do not attempt to sweeten truth. So there's nowhere else in Spain I can really get to like in there. Um, let's double check what the garrison's like in Carthage in case it gets attacked by these guys. Not fantastic, but it'll probably do okay. I think they should lose anyway to uh, Libya. But if Libya starts dragging, dragging their feet even, then it may be an issue. <laughs> okay, pretty big army they've got there. Two stacks, I think. One's sort of in the mist here. The fog of war, as it were. Okay. So I'm really going to need to stabilise Corsica and Sardinia before I can do anything to Rome, I think. And bam. Still undecided. I think I just need to get rid of that slums either way to stop all that, that food drain. I wasn't banking on that. Syracuse being quite so, quite so generous. Yeah, uh, yeah, a couple of rebellions. What's the big deal? There we go. Even if I lose Lilibaeum, then at least it's a little bit of uh, Punic culture sort of seeded into Magna Graecia. Maybe it causes them a slight issue. Probably not, but there he goes. Okay, and that might be my sort of base army that I'll try blending in some mercenaries into and uh, see how I go. Could really do with a bit more wealth generation. It's not really going to be an option just yet. 
So that's going to be Rebellion next turn, that's fine. Just looking at the garrisons that these give. So that sort of takes all my money. Um, I'm not that worried about losing sort of my territories here yet. See, East, I'm kind of going to focus in. No point really upgrading this yet. This is like my happiest province. Do a bit more growth. So we're three turns away from having this reduced uh, upkeep for mercenaries. Three turns until the cost gets reduced. So I should probably hold off getting any mercenaries until then. Oops. <laughs> okay, sword mercenaries might be a good idea then. I didn't mean to get cunning on that guy, but... There you go. Um, let's see what he got. My faction in Gizka. Oh, okay, you're my faction, so that's fine. Um, I guess Zeal. Zeal seems to make sense. I oh, know, a capable bureaucrat, and then uh, we can get a little bit of food by making him an agriculturalist. Again, these traits are from the Traits, Talents and Toadies mod. Very good mod, I really recommend it. Um, it also means that you can have generals sort of sitting in a city governing it, and they'll be passively gaining XP. So they, they're occasionally level up, nowhere near as much as uh, a general that you've got out on campaign winning battles. Hey, Syracuse, we should just be friends, come on, screw Rome. But yeah, um, that means you can have like dedicated governors and the like. Oh, that's great. The uh, only Iberian faction that's friendly with me managed to knock these guys out. See, this is the colour that I was talking about. So it's quite similar to Athens and Egypt. Minor irritation, though. Yep, yep, rebellion, who cares? Yep, yep, yep. Um, it's nice having this public order coming back, but I kind of can't afford to wait. Because if this army gets too big, it'll probably be just straight up better for my army. So, I mean, at the moment, 8 units to 13, it's still probably going to be better. Cause the units that these guys normally get are pretty, pretty damn good. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> look at this. Two Libyan infantry, two Carthaginian hot guys, two, yeah, yeah, all with silver chevron experience. Yeah, that's kind of painful. Um, actually, it's 200. What kind of look was that? Let me just take a look at this rebellion that's happening here, though. So we're going to have to recruit some troops, unfortunately, to try and stop that rebellion. 10%. Mm, it's pretty good. Probably getting greedy, but let's expand the mines. I can't remember that event, so that's the only option I have other than doing nothing, and that's boring. So, ah, come on, Saragus, destroy this rebel army for me. I can be best of pals. Um, what else is cheap and cheerful? So, how many? Four infantry units. There's only 231. Yep, I use them as a front line. Okay, let's try this. Should destroy this pretty handily. 
I'm going to use these two bits of mercenary uh, Italian infantry to sort of just screen my real infantry line. So I'm hoping to sort of confine the losses to here. If I can use the skirmisher cab as well to distract his cab, then nothing's really going to stop my elephants from uh, breaking his line. Again, my jabs might be a little bit vulnerable in case one of these units gets through, but focus fire from these guys should uh, put an end to anything too particularly nasty. See where they are, fantastic. Sorry, I'm aware I'm probably saying that all the damn time, so uh, bloody brilliant. There we go. I'll try to expand my vocabulary. So yep, expendables right here. Um, still pretty expendable to be honest, my main infantry, but let's see if these guys are yeah, or these guys covered in blood from all the guys that didn't die. Yeah. So you see when your elephants run through your own troops they get that sort of gore spattered sort of effect. Um just a bug I guess. Okay, that's actually rotated my line without me doing anything. Yep, that, that's great. If you guys could go and do that now. I won't bother running these elephants. So, I guess I sort of want to come up the side of this ridge here. I, d I guess that's passable. I don't know if this bit is passable terrain or not. We'll see. Uh, infantry starting to get a little bit tired. I should probably give them a second. Get back to green fatigue. Yeah, there we go. So, yeah, I think there's enough room to sort of push the elephants through along this side. Most of the fight should be happening sort of here. Nearly in position to start this fight. That's the only thing I hate when the uh, enemy army takes up a really defensive position is it takes you a lot longer to get into a position where you can deal with it. So, let's pull you. Tie them down with some hot potatoes. Ah, there's our general. There goes our disposable infantry. Fortunately, did lose that jab. But, yeah, they heal. And if not, they're. Uh, Cheap to replace. How many is that? Ten. Okay, that's not really a big deal. Skirmishing in uh, Rome 2 is not particularly great. 
Like how those guys managed to catch them, I never know, but well I do. It's a terrible scare machine. Yeah, so they should destroy them pretty quickly. them into slightly more compact formation, so I think that makes it a bit easier for them to manoeuvre against the sun that's chasing them in melee, but alright, they're out of jabs. Wow, okay. They're losing that fight. Line. So that oh, like took uh, greater casualties than it should have. Slightly more of a mountain out of the molehill, but wow. So is he? Yep. These Libyan Peltas, man. I mean, <laughs> Numidian Cav had no uh, chance of beating them. Elephants actually gone on for a rampage because they've been hit by these flaming jabs. At least haven't lost any elephants yet, and they're still killing them. It just uh, a bit of a roundabout way of doing it. So yeah, it's the mercenaries holding them here. Don't really care what happens to them. We can fire without care. So that should be all of these units now defeated. <sighs> what I'd do to have an army like that. It's like I could understand uh, maybe the rebels getting like good troops. Like I wouldn't mind if you know they get these like high, mid to high quality troops that they get in. But it's like to get that as well as uh, like silver chevron and stuff. It's like ah, oh, it's a bit OTT. It's like the next thing you know they'll be coming up with bloody uh, gold weapons and shields and stuff. Morale training bonuses. I do think though it should sort of mirror what that province can produce in terms of troops so that makes a bit more sense to me maybe I like the odd mercenary unit in there so 
So yep, now we've got to run back up to Alalia to defend it from this fleet. Well, it's not a fleet, it's a ground army. But so 13. So, I'm going to give them back control, get rid of these guys because I don't really care, probably hang on to the Numidians. Vanguard. Okay, weapon damage. That's no bad thing. I might try some sort of suicide intercept this fleet. Well, yeah, a few more units. It may not be a suicide. Okay, let's run. Run with that. <laughs> wow, that army, that's pretty good. Um, yeah, sure. I mean, they'd probably like me, I'd get probably like plus two diplomatic points for uh, Atoll Sister, even though they're saving my bacon. I should really probably look into that next turn, see how how my standing is with Syracuse. I imagine it's still bad, but especially now that I'm at war with Rome, but we'll see. I remain open to the possibility of being pleasantly surprised. Wow, it's actually a. <laughs> that's what I was already getting, plus ten percent wealth. So how how is that any different from doing nothing? Oh, there's a fleet. What happened to the? Did they land again? Yes, Legion One there. Um, six ships, seven ships. Wait, let's not get into deep water. I'll just garrison them because then they'll replenish a bit faster, get a bit of public order going back. Um, oh, I've got a bit of food here. Okay, Syracuse. Not too terrible. Greetings. Do not waste time on ill-chosen words. It's a defensive agreement. Oh, I don't have any uh, bathing would have been agreements useful. with Rome. Hmm. Wow, that's a lot of money. Eesh. Don't really want to have to spend half my money or more to get a non-aggression pact. Is that really worth it? Let's hold off on that. I don't really care if this falls. Um, the problem is then if they start invading Africa. But I think I'll have enough time to respond to that. So how long? Four turns it says. One turn until my... Uh, I get my tech that gives me less mercenary upkeep. That would be nice. Let's check out how this rebellion is going here. <laughs> okay. That's a new one on me, a uh, silver chevron mob. Sure, why not? Um, actually, if I attack them, I might range of my garrison reinforcing, yes. Ha! Huh, and it's still not in my favour. Three Carthaginian hoplites in this army, though. We 
give it a go. Even if you don't wipe them out, we'll wear them down a bit. I must remember my cavalry to be more wary of these uh, Libyan Peltas. I forgot quite how heavy of a Peltas unit they are. So like a sort of light to medium infantry when it comes to fighting in melee. Captain Obvious. Hmm. <laughs> This isn't great terrain. Um, I don't want to move too far in case my reinforcements uh, are coming in quite close. So what I'll do is I get here. I've still got the option of moving into this bit of shrub and getting a bit of cover from missiles and cavalry. Okay, so there they are. Where's the enemy? Got our own mobs to counter their mobs. They're a straight up counter. I mean, silver chevron mobs, the only thing that can bring them down is a no chevron mob. Okay, so they're here. Let's see. Hmm, looks like they're gonna go on defensive. It's fine by me. I'd have thought with the balance of power being what it is, they'd, uh, they'd take the initiative, but I guess not. Right, let's put this on speed up because it's going to take some time to get into position here. I think after this battle. Well, this will be my last turn, I think. The only issue I've had with my graphics so far is these shadows don't look quite right to me. I mean, look at that. That's, that's not right. But I think that's turned up to be quite high. Um, where are we at? Yeah. Very high. I just wouldn't expect very high to look like that. But there you go. So how do I really want to approach this? Um, I guess I have to either march to here, and come up here, or march all the way around here. Which is going to take ages, but at the same time it's a much better area to attack. I guess my left flank should be my Carthaginian hoplites, because if I come along here... Okay, let's try. We'll move to here and see if that tempts them. That's probably going to be our formation. Mob sort of just screening, soaking up a few javelins before they route. I wasn't expecting these guys to get so uh, knackered so quickly. Are they resistant to heat? Yeah, they are. <laughs> that is a nice trait of Carthaginian troops. I mean, you, you look at some of their troops and they're, um, they seem very comparable with, like, uh, like your Libyan infantry seems very comparable to like Forax swords on the Greek factions. Um and it's the you know Carthaginian hoplites again to like normal hoplites. But something that you have to really take into consideration is this resistant to heat uh trait that they've got. Which is just like an extra bit of bonus. Which is definitely nice. Especially on like heavily armoured units like Carthaginian hoplites. Alright, I'm probably gonna have to rest them for a sec after this. Um I wonder, has anyone actually found a mod for uh what I really want 
is a sort of music mod for I've I've seen ones for things like uh, like this guy's custom playlist that he's put on and the music from Rome One Total War all that kind of stuff. What I'm really looking for is something that puts in the Europa Barbori Barborium uh, soundtrack um, and replaces the Rome Two soundtrack. I can't seem to find anything on the workshop. But if anyone does see anything like that, or maybe a mod that lets you customize the tracks, then please do let me know because that'd be. I'm not going to say fantastic. That'd be marvelous beyond all expectation. Can't forget my mobs. I think I'd lose without these guys. It's kind of like a Roman line here. Velate. Mobs is my Hestati. Almost as good as Hestati. Three charge bonus. Something I don't really understand is they've removed uh, the bonus versus infantry. And yet it still shows up as a trait. It's always zero, but it still shows up as a trait on these unit cards. I wonder when they're going to bother uh, removing those. Okay. Finally. I do hate these Roman and Carthaginian uh, cap units though, with like 30 guys in. It's like, really? It's just. I don't know. Sometimes I feel like maybe I should. Well, I don't know. I definitely would prefer elephants. I should probably swap this general out if, uh, if I was going to use him. At the moment, he's just a sort of part of a garrison force. Although, I guess even in that case, elephants are especially effective at defending when you're outnumbered. Our infantry looks just fine here. Straight on mobs. What I'll do for some fight then, that'd be great. Come on, run back. So I don't really want to send my cab out to try and hit these uh, peltas. They're a bit too heavy. Three. Let's bring them all around to the same flank. So we can sandwich these guys. Okay, these guys recovered. Just about. <laughs> So that's fine. Um, let's bring you around here as well so you can get ready to help. What I'll probably do is try and send this unit to tangle up his general. Come on. Don't just stand there under the rain of javelins. See if I can get a cheeky charge off. Because they're firing all their jabs over at those hot lights. That wasn't the greatest charge in the world. need to get out of here before they start firing back. Okay, so our javelins have made short work of that bit of infantry. Let me just 
see how our hot points have got them. Okay, so I want to come around behind here. See if we can knock out the general. Right, we've got him tied up now. So it's a matter of time till he dies, though. <laughs> wow, this mob unit. Completely holding us there. Our infantry is melting away. How are these guys doing? Okay. General's nearly broken. That's good. How tired are you? Not that tired, but still. There you go. So you should be getting 20 charge bows. Man, that's pretty poor. I'll do for some shot cab instead of melee cab. Tied up in these hot lights, but he should get on his merry way. Make sure we engage these guys from behind. Peltas doing pretty amazingly. Can't wait to be able to uh, recruit my own. Let's pull out and try another charge. And hopefully these guys will hold us for a few seconds longer. So I don't get pelted by javelins as I'm charging. Hoping this is a good one. Yeah, it's pretty good. There we go. Because that's the last charge I can really afford. Because obviously if I disengage and come back, uh, I get a sort of uh, a rain of javelins to the face. Then that would not be beneficial, because they might just get lucky and knock out the general. Give him back some energy. I'm going to keep these guys around as sort of cheerleaders. Oh, these Libyan infantry are brutal. Zooming in. These guys a bit of a fight cam. out my way first. Warmed up. So that was a good one. While they're knocked down, let's get out. Good. I don't really give him much time to uh, form back up or charge it again, but yeah, a win is a win is a win. Wow, <laughs> the kills on these guys—that's pretty brutal. It's pretty much two to one.
Well, I'm glad I could have a fight where my garrison was involved. Because my garrison is actually a hell of a lot stronger than my uh, actual army there. Right. Let me think what else is there going to be to do this turn. Not much, I think. So I should be able to end turn and that will save the game. Uh, I can't remember if it saves the game as soon as you hit end turn or you have to wait for your turn to come round. Hmm, it's kind of annoying they weren't eliminated. We got left. The mob has become the general. That's nightmare fodder right there. Make him a ferocious warrior. Infantry, yep. Okay. Uh, let me just reacquaint myself. So he is regenerating in there. Yeah, I'm probably going to end it there. Fantastic. Right, thanks very much for uh, tuning into this part. Catch me again for the next part. Uh, I think I should be able to record that tomorrow there and get that uploaded. Right, thanks very much, guys. See you later.